A cat falls out of a tree, becomes completely relaxed. It is the philosophy of the Tao that the moment we were born, we were kicked off a precipice and we're falling and there is nothing that can stop it. So instead of living in a state of chronic tension and clinging to all sorts of things that are actually falling with us because the whole world is impermanent, be like a cat. When things inevitably do their thing, right? We're always falling. <laughs> then you can enjoy the ride. You also can give other people a lot more freedom and space to be who they are. And then it's much nicer to be around you when you're not defining people as one moment in their life or even a whole collective. Seeing ourselves as beloved is seeing how we belong to every other thing and that every other thing belongs to us. And how do we want to be in a relationship of care? To all those things. I have a friend who's a midwife or was a midwife and she talks about with women in labor shifting from the idea of a contraction which encourages the mind to tense up and bear down and instead to think of it as a surge. Actually it's not a contraction, it's, it's the uterus doing this. It's not going like this, it's actually trying to push the baby out. But thinking of it as a surge and just even that difference in how you think about something and how women then can experience that quite painful experience with more openness, with more spaciousness and even enjoy this incredible process of giving birth. That's just one example that I find helpful in terms of if we meet the difficulties of our life with this contraction mindset Oh, it's going to be painful. This could be terrible. And yes, it could be. But if we see the, the losses, the ways life just impacts us and pulls a rug out from under us as a surge, sometimes if I can't sleep, doing some kind of loving kindness practice that includes myself, but where I begin to wish others in my life well, wish people I don't know well, wish people that are difficult for me well, wish all beings well. Just talk about the heart. When I put my hands over my heart in bed if I can't sleep and I'm just focusing on may everyone that I know that I don't know be happy, be healthy, may they have a good sleep. That helps me go back to sleep. It helps me to really relax. Because I'm knowing my connection with all of these. It's a non-self practice to see more and more that what happens to me is interconnected with everyone. What happens to them, it impacts me. And so caring about them, really intending for their well-being energetically, that's a heart practice that is a not-self practice practice. And when I can break out of this, oh, I can't sleep, and what's going to happen tomorrow, and how am I going to make it through the day, then I slip into this beloved place of, I can wish people well. I can wish myself well. I can stay connected to my heart. The heart is where all the worries and the fear resides also, so that fear transforms into love, into care, into compassion. So that's the disidentifying, right? Okay, here I am. And I don't need to make a story about this that is more painful 